Welcome to this quick demo. My name's Nicole from iPad Calligraphy. So today I'm going to show you how to use clipping masks. A lot of people have been a little confused about why they're different to layer masking and how best to use them. So I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to use them as well as um, how flexible they can be over regular layer masking. Right, so here I am in Procreate and I should mention before going any further that you need 4.2 um, in order to use clipping masks. So this was a feature of their latest release, release in early November. Um, so what I've got here is basically just a black background with this text on the top. I've just created the text in Photoshop and imported it as a PNG image. Um, and also I have a couple of paint um, streak layers. So I've got a pack that has loads of these different textures, both in warm and cool colors. I'll leave a link in the description for you if you're interested in looking at those, but it's just a, um, a handy texture to illustrate what we're going to do today. So in order to use a clipping mask, um, basically you need your shape. So we're going to be using the knockout text here as the mask itself, and then you need something that you want to clip to. So you're basically going to um, choose this layer here, the drop down opens when you just tap on the layer and clipping mask is right there. So it's as easy as that. That's now, um, you know, mask the background of that out, outside of the text and hidden it. Um, so I'll do it again here with this layer. And you can get some really cool effects. So what's different already that you might notice um, from regular masking is the shape that is the mask um, is not hidden. So with regular masking, you know, you're painting onto a layer or using a selection on a layer and you don't see anything outside of the shape that you're masking itself. That's all hidden unless there's a texture beneath the shape. So that's quite cool because that allows us also to expand on the mask um, with color on the actual layer itself. So as you can see, I'm painting on this layer and um, the blue is the color. So I'm painting on this layer with blue, but it's also affecting the mask texture as well. So that's adding to the mask area, giving a really cool kind of, you know, um, seamless effect. So it just makes it really easy to create these really cool effects. Um, so to just show you again, you can add multiple layers. This is something else that is really unique and cool. So if I want to insert another file here, I'll choose this yellow texture and then just add that clipping mask there. There we go. I can move it around. So you can add as many as you want. Um, something I'll just show you. So if I take off these clipping masks, just make sure one thing to keep in mind is that the mask that you're using needs to be directly under the layer that you're clipping it to. So if I was to just go clipping mask like this, that yellow is clipped to this layer here, not the text. So you need to be specific, it needs to be in a specific order. Um, so if I am just to try and do this uh, with regular masking, it's a lot trickier. So um, I would need to select this area here. I'd need to go onto my mask and then I need to um, choose mask. I mean, that's fairly straightforward, but the issue is you can't really tweak it as easily because uh, you can't move the mask or the texture independently from each other. So that's one really big advantage as well is like this, this clipping mask uh, way of doing things allows us to just kind of change our mind of the placement of the texture afterwards so you can move it, um, move it around and tweak things. I hope you got something useful from that demo and I'd love to see how you're using clipping masks so feel free to tag me on any of the socials. I'll see you next time. Bye.